Lori Harvey is one of the finest girls in the industry right now. And if you say otherwise, you're a hater. I don't make the rules. You're a hater. So today we are going to try to do Lori Harvey's 90s inspired makeup routine that Vogue released on their YouTube channel. While we do this makeup routine, we are also going to gossip about why grown ass men can't mind their business when it comes to Lori Harvey. So I'm gonna skip over her skincare routine because it's mostly her products that haven't come out yet. But I did notice that she likes really glowy skin and so do I because I have dry skin. So I'm just going to moisturize with my favorite stuff. And that is Tatcha's Dewy Skin Cream and Tatcha's Dewy Serum. I feel like I have most of the makeup already that she's using in here, but the stuff that I don't, I have a really good substitute for it. I was gonna go out and buy it, but I just feel like why buy something for one video that I'm never gonna use again? That's stupid. Oh. <laughs> Moving on to makeup. So first I like to use this Laura Mercier hydrating primer and it also has SPF in it. Okay, primer. I don't have that. But what I'm gonna use is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base. My best friend is a makeup artist, so she taught me this little trick. I'm gonna take this little brush and I have my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm just gonna put a little bit of this all over my face first. So I have seen Jackie Ina do this before, but she uses the Laura Mercier that's actually closer to our skin tone, which is the darker one. I have the lighter one too, but I feel like Lori uses this one because she's lighter skin and I am not. So I'm gonna use the darker one so that I don't look like Casper. And I've never, ever, ever done this before. I have dry skin. So, powder scares me. It just really makes my foundation go on super smooth and flawless and just have no pores. It lasts all day. I'm gonna set it. And now we are ready to apply foundation. Okay, she sets it. Do I have to set it with? I don't have that Urban Decay, so. I'm gonna use these two Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundations and mix them. So I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, this used to be my favorite foundation, actually. So let's get into these men. There are a lot of men on the internet right now that Lori Harvey wouldn't take a second look at that have such an opinion on the way that she lives her life. And I don't understand it. There's like such a double standard when it comes to what men can do and women can't that just really pisses me off. Where is this energy for NBA young boy? He has 65 babies. Now, I don't hear anybody calling him a hoe. I don't hear anybody saying, oh, why are you putting people in your business like that? Why are you dating so many women? When I see comments about like men like him, it's mostly, oh, his penis must be big. Oh, what do girls see in him? Stuff like that. But I never hear nobody like 
shame him for having 65 kids with 105 women. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Also, the girl is young. Like, she's dating. That's what you're supposed to do at her age. You keep dating men or women until you find the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Like, I just, I honestly just do not understand the hate that this girl gets for dating at a young age. I've also only seen her with about three or four guys and I dated way more people than that when I was about her age. So, ooh, now I remember why this was my favorite foundation. I like to use this Fenty Beauty Match Stick to do my contour. I have that match stick, but it's so old. It's probably expired. I also don't contour, so I literally bought this stick because it was Rihanna. I also think that a lot of people feel as though because a person is a celebrity or they're in the limelight, that because they're a celebrity, that gives you the right to have an opinion on their personal life. And I just do not think that that's true. I think that that's rude. Like everybody gossips, everybody. Nobody's exempt, everybody gossips. Everybody gossips among their friends. Everybody has a group chat that they gossip with and everybody gossips, that's just what it is. But when you start going on public platforms and stating your opinion in the comments or even some of these celebrities that do interviews about her. When you start doing stuff like that, that's where you cross the line. Because God forbid somebody goes and does an interview about you in your life, you will be pissed off. So on a really, really good skin day, if I'm just trying to run out the house, I'll just do a little bit of concealer. Um, I like to use Biscuit because it's closest to my skin tone when I don't have anything on my face. This might be too bright, but she said she likes a really bright under eye. This is also way more concealer than I would use, but she said she loves concealer and we're trying to match her makeup style, so. So also, there's this unspoken, assumed truth that she's had sex with every man that she dates. And I don't care what nobody say. Y'all don't know that. Also, again, that's none of your business, but at the end of the day, you don't know that. You don't know who Lori has given it up to, and that's not your business. But for anybody to even insinuate that she's loose because she may or may not have had sex with the guys that she date, is also a bunch of bullshit because you can have sex with who you wanna have sex with the same way these men do. The whole situation really just pisses me off because one, when I see men talk about it, it's like, first of all, y'all do the same thing. What you're mad about is that there's a girl who knows her worth and she's not about to stick, stick around for nobody that's playing with her. She's leaving and she's moving on to the next, the same thing that y'all do to us. And for women, it's like, why are you talking about another girl like that? when I'm pretty sure all women have been in a situation where they've been heartbroken, their heart has been stomped on, and you don't wish that you had the strength to just leave your partner when they keep trying you? Couldn't be me. I'm gonna go back to this Laura Mercier translucent powder. And she only bakes under her eyes. Oh wait, no she doesn't. Child, she baking everywhere. Hold on. I hope I don't end up looking like Casper. Mm. Ellie Baker brow. Brow powder. I don't have that. So I do not use powder on my brows. So I don't have like a brow powder. I'm just going to use an eyeshadow. Some real horror stories when it comes to my brows. Um, I used to just... I just would also like to point out that... Ooh, this is too dark. I just would also like to point out that 
I've never heard anybody call J-Lo or like Mariah Carey a hoe and they're older than Lori and they will move on with a quickness, okay? I just don't understand the reasoning for the general public cutting some people some slack and not others. It's very confusing as to who fits the mold for people who get a pass for certain stuff and then other people don't. If my girlfriend and I ever broke up, God forbid, and I started dating other people and there were multiple people, mind your business. I'm trying to find the one. Hell, that's what I did before I found her. To really define them, I use this little tool right here and then she has almost like a little concealer pencil. So I'm gonna take the pencil and I kind of just... I don't have the concealer pencil, but I mean, I have concealer. That, get some product on it. The last step, I like to do eyebrow gel. I'm obsessed with eyebrow gel. But before I do that, I'm gonna blend my powder right here. I first got into makeup, um, watching my mom when I was younger. She always get her makeup done, so I literally would just sit and like stare at her and like the makeup artist while they were doing it until I literally learned how to do it myself. And then also my best friend's makeup artist. So I'll just, when we're together, I'd be like, show me how to do this or teach me this technique. So, and then also when she would see me do my makeup, she'd be like, that's wrong. How long are we leaving this bake on? So next, I'm gonna do my bronzer. I like to use like three different brushes when I do my bronzer, cause I don't know, I just feel like it gets the job done. So I like to use this one first. It's like angled and it like gives me that little angled contour look that I like. Really don't know how to contour my nose. So I kind of just go along the edge like that and I feel like it gives it like a little extra definition. Maybe it doesn't, but in my mind it does. So I actually like to go over that bronzer with this Urban Decay. Okay, she said she likes to go over the bronzer with Urban Decay, but was the bronzer, was that a bronzer or was that a highlight? Cause the thing said how like, and she said she like these a couple of different bronzers. So this is where I get confused. So how about this? I'm gonna take the Laura Mercier Glow Powder. Cause it's like a bronzer and a highlight. Cause I don't know what the hell she just did. Wait, was that a mistake? I should have did that. I have this Urban Decay Naked eye palette, do it a little bit. I'm just put it all over. All my sisters are like, okay, so it's like a neutral brown that she's putting all over her lid. I'm going to use Aesthetic in the Artist Couture Nudes palette. So I'll just do a little brown eyeshadow on my bottom lash line. So I have lashes on right now, so I actually am not gonna do mascara at all. And I barely have on lashes right now, but since I'm waiting for them to fall off, I'm going to skip the lashes part as well. So we're gonna go for a little bit more of a bronzy look today. And pink like that, like that. I am not an eyeliner pro. I do not know how to do eyeliner very well. So I actually like to do my eyeliner with eyeshadow. So I take this little thin brush right here and I'm gonna go in with ashes. And the moment of truth, do I look like Casper? 
I'm gonna go into my favorite, which is blush. I have two blush palettes right here by NARS. So I'm gonna mix the two. So I do have a NARS blush. I don't know which one she's using, but I do have like a lighter pink NARS blush called Outlaw. Um, and then she said she likes to do an orangey one. I don't have an orangey blush from NARS. I do have an orangey blush from MAC that I'm gonna mix with it and it's called Loud Speaker. So I'm gonna mix these two because she said she does the lighter pink and some orange so she can look really flush. I like to look a little flushed because naturally I'm like very rosy, like I said, so I still kind of like to keep that look a little bit. So I kind of like to mix like a lighter pink and more of like an orangey type of blush to kind of get that look. To use this brush and just make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere. So next, we're gonna go into lips. So this is currently my favorite lip liner. It is from Patrick Ta. Okay, she just has like a dark brown liner. I don't have the Patrick Ta one, but I have the one that is a black girl's dream. Chestnut by Mac. Have this Pat McGrath lip gloss. On the pad is my all time makeup beauty inspiration. I love her. She taught me. I don't know what color she's using, but I'm using Sunset Rose. So much. She was the first person I worked with in the beauty industry. Next, I'm gonna set my face again with this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Last but not least, because we know how much I love to be dewy and glowy and radiant Tom Ford highlighting powder. I am going to do Honey Dip by Artist Couture. The highlighter that I like to use. So I'll take this little brush and I mix the two like this. My little secret. This Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Sets. And then I tap my highlight and like it just really gives it an extra glow. And we are done. Okay, well I don't know how close I got, but I hope it's cute. It looks cute in the mirror, so I hope it's coming off cute on camera. She definitely does her makeup way different than me. Um, I hope this looks good. It looks good on camera. She did make me fall back in love with this Luminous Silk, Giorgio Armani. Um, and I also think that I do like that she carves her eyebrows under. I never carve my eyebrows ever. So I do like the way that my eyebrows look carved. So I think I might do that from now on. And it made me rediscover my Pat McGrath lip gloss. Also, that powder trick actually makes my makeup look really smooth. So I might be trying that from now on too. But back to our discussion. In conclusion, mind your business and stay out of people's vaginas. I don't know how much more clear I can be on that. Thank you guys for tuning in today to my video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. If the spirit moves you, go and binge watch my last video.